let us know the difference between these two sums. In the first sum 1 plus 2 plus 1 answer is 4. We did it very easily because all the lower bits are available with us. But in the second sum 4 plus 1 for adding 1 we do not have one more bits available here. So, how do we solve this type of sums? For solving it, we will learn a new concept in this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? In this video, in this video we will learn a new concept that is small friend concept. What is small friend? Small friends are the numbers that add up to a total of 5, which means which two numbers we have to add so that we will get the total of 5. If we add 1 with 4, we will get the answer 5, right? So, 1 and 4 are the small friends of each other. 1 is the small friend of 4, 4 is the small friend of 1. See here, we can also add 2 with 3 to get the answer 5. Here 2 is the small friend of 3 and 3 is the small friend of 2. 2 and 3 are the small friend of each other. Is it clear? Now let us derive the small friend formula. So 4 plus how much equals to 5? 4 plus 1 equals to 5. How we will get the answer 1? How we will get this value? We have to subtract 4 from 5. So, plus 1 equals to plus 5 minus 4. If we subtract 4 from 5, we will get the answer 1. So, now we got one formula that is plus 1 equals to plus 5 minus 4. This is one of the small friend formula for adding 1. When we need to add 1, we need to add 5 first, then subtract the small friend of 1 that is 4. So, our formula will be plus 1 equals to plus 5 minus 4. Let us derive another one. 3 plus how much equals to 5? We know that 3 plus 2 equals to 5. How we will get this answer to plus 2 equals to plus 5 minus 3. If we subtract 3 from 5, we will get the answer plus 2, we will get the answer 2. So, now we got the second formula that is plus 2 equals to plus 5 minus 3. When we need to add plus 2, we have to add 5 and subtract the small friend of 2 that is 3. So, our formula will be plus 2 equals to plus 5 minus 3. This is the second small friend addition formula. Let us see the next one. Tell me 2 plus how much equals to 5. As we know 2 plus 3 equals to 5. To get 3 what we have to do? We have to subtract 2 from 5. This is the another formula for addition of 3. When we need to add 3 in that case we will, uh, we will add 5 first then subtract the small friend of 3 that is 2. Now, we got the third formula that is plus 3 equals to plus 5 minus 2. The next one is 1 plus how much equals to 5? So, 1 plus 4 equals to 5. 
So, plus 4 equals to plus 5 minus 1. If we subtract 1 from the 5, we will get the answer 4, right. So, here we got the fourth small friend formula that is plus 4 equals to plus 5 minus 1. These are the four small friend addition formulas. Now, let us learn how and when we apply this small friend formula. If we want to add 1, 2, 3, 4 that is less than 5, but we cannot add these numbers directly because of shortage of bits, right. In that case, we can apply small friend formula, right. In this case, we can apply these 4 small friend formulas. And another condition is we have the upper bits available with us, right. So, in this, in these two conditions, we can apply the small friend formula. Let us see this example 4 plus 1. Here, we do not have one more bit to add. So, in this case, we can apply the small friend formula. So, what is the small friend formula of plus 1? We know that plus 1 equals to plus 5 minus 4. In this case, we can apply this formula. So, so this is plus 4 plus 1. Plus 1 is plus 5 minus 4. Here, we have the upper bits available with us. So, plus 5 minus 4 minus after that minus 5. So, answer here is 0. So, in which case we can apply this small friend formula? If we want to add 1, 2, 3, 4, but we do not have this number of bits available with us. With that, we have the upper bits available. If we have the upper bits available, in that case, we can use this small friend formula for addition, right. So, while teaching this concept to your child, first thing you need to teach them who is the small friend of which number. For this, you ask your kids to take the fingers of one hand and ask them to suppose they have to find out the small friend of 1. Ask them what is the small friend of 1? They, they have to fold one finger and the remaining finger will become its small friend that is 4. So, small friend of 1 is 4. So, what is the small friend of 2? Ask them to fold two fingers and the remaining finger is the small friend of 2 that is 3. Small friend of 2 is 3. What is the small friend of 3? Ask them to close 3 fingers. The remaining finger is the small friend of 3 that is 2. What is the small friend of 4? Close 4 fingers and the 1 is the small friend of 4. And the second thing is in which case you need to use the small friend formula, okay. Those two conditions you have to teach to your child. I in this video, we learnt the four small friend formula. In the next video, we will we'll solve some problems based on these formulas. So, keep learning, keep practicing the abacus. I hope you understood this concept well. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon to get all the notifications of my latest videos. Thanks for watching.